Hey folks, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Elite Series 2 controller. It's brand new. Uh, first, I'd like to say I'm using an old mic. Uh, the cable's not working on another one for some reason, so hopefully, you can make out what I'm saying. So, uh, the first impression of the box is very heavy. I mean, I hope the controller's not that heavy. Uh, I think it comes in like its own uh, case. But even then, you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be this heavy. So, it's quite tricky to get out, I hope uh, it's quite a snug fit. So, this case is half the reason why, why the box weighed so much in this bottom half. This is the other reason, I don't know why it's so heavy, I don't, I don't know if there's anything in here. So we've got two things here. And this looks like we have the manual. That's uh there's one two and uh, four and five. So I hope it's not so complicated that I'm going to have to read through five manuals. Yeah. So go back to the case. I mean that that's quite heavy. I don't I don't know. If, uh, so wow, the controllers a bit heavier than other ones. If I compare the Series X controllers, probably about twice the weight. Uh, it's around about the same size. It's got some nice grips on them. You've got your back clips, you've got your uh, scrolling circle bit here, you can come out, you can use your d-pad, put a d-pad bit in there, but that's mainly for games that have arrows in them, I think, and you just move the arrow with the track got a, a nice styled cable if uh, if you wanted the fastest connection Cable is still the way to go. Bluetooth is almost the same, but it's not quite as fast as a plugged-in cable, which is what I've got here. It's nice, nice, and uh, it's like a what would you call it? Like a fabric designer cable. Uh, went forward to plugging that in, and that's pretty much it. I'd have to I can't really give much of a review of it now. Apart from the fact that it's a really nice controller, it's almost the same 
as the uh, Series S and X controllers, but it, I'd have to get used to this, the back buttons here, because you, when you're using the front, you can your fingers are you're touching them, you're not you're not wrapping them round. See, so. I'll have to connect that to Steam or the Xbox and then try it out. So that's pretty much it. That's the uh right oh you've got uh, that's the, the charging bit for it. Uh, you probably just plug it in. That's uh you just you don't need one of those big massive charging docks, you just put your cable in. Uh, there's a, an accessory bit at the bottom of the pouch. That's for your D-pad. That's for tuning your analog sticks. Uh, you've got a, a D-pad here if you don't like the the circle sort of track thing on it. Uh, you've got four different analog stick tops in it as well. So uh, there's a lot of possibilities on how you can des uh, design the controller to suit so your playstyle. Uh, I, I was lucky to get this because. Uh, it was the five payment option on Amazon. I was looking to buy it, but they've made it easier for me to to buy it with the five payment. Uh, that's pretty much it. I was, I'm I'm surprised at how heavy it was. It's about twice your Xbox Series S and X controller, so they must say they're made of harder plastic. Uh, or there's, there's something inside that's that's given it the extra weight. So uh, the only thing to do now is test it and see how it goes. All right.